Hello and welcome back everybody. Welcome, welcome to all the mods again. I know, right? Crazy. We are having fun on here and I want to get your guys' opinion on the Redwood compared to the Ebony. I'm kind of liking the Redwood a little bit better myself. Uh, adds a little bit more color uh, and pop to the whole thing. I don't know. It's one of those things. Um, apparently it's nighttime. I can never tell. I'm in a cave. It's fine. Um, but anyways, a couple things that I want to work on is an access point to get up to the area over there. And if those, for those of you that don't know which area I'm talking about, I'm talking about the opening. Um, so if we actually fly on up here, uh -huh, yeah, 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 get on out outside, breath of fresh air out here. You know, all that kind of jazz. I'm talking about the area over here, overlooking this little cavern, or whatever you want to call this. Little peninsula of land. So, I want to get an access to up here. And I'm trying to decide exactly where. Like, this isn't bad, but I'm afraid that this is going to actually be too low, right? You don't get an overview from down there. What I'm thinking is we need to be about up here, right? So about Y80, give or take. Uh, let's quickly throw down a uh, uh, waypoint here so that we know exactly where we are digging to and where we are digging from, right? That's one of the th ways that you can use Journey Map very nicely to benefit your builds or your travels and all that kind of stuff. Really? Really, Tree? Messing with me like that? Hmm? You messing with me, Tree? All right, there we go. Boom, and boom, and boom, and we're back home. Okay, great. Nailed it. So many people online on the subscriber server. You guys should sub. Just saying. Just my recommendation. All right, so we have it right up there, and it looks like we are basically bang on almost exactly with this setup right here. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to offset it. Now, I want to have it run up alongside here and get us upstairs. So to do that, we need a couple of tweaks here. Let's just do that because we're going to need to at some point. I should also get lamps or something that are going to go in here. I'm not sure what color to go with yet. So uh, what I'm thinking is we will come around. Let's quickly get a few of these. Okay, good. Let's map it out. So if we have another section like that of three, yeah, I think we're going to need a couple of those. So if we do a few sections, um, you know what? We might have to come up with some sort of a new wall design. But for right now, let's at least plan out. If we go three sections like so, I think that would be pretty good. And then basically right here is where we want to go up. All right, so right through here is where we are looking to go up to the surface. Now we're quite a bit off from our test point up there, but I do think it's going to work out quite well overall. Um, so let's see here, I need more torches. Uh -huh, there we go, get more torches in here. Now this is probably gonna have to change as well. Um, I'm thinking that we will come up with some sort of a wall design and expand on it, right? So in here, my plan is to basically take a lamp or something like that and input it in the backdrop here to provide light to the area instead of torches. Um, but in the long walls, we might have like a couple of lights and then some other design on the back wall. And if we're doing, you know, the redwood or whatever along the bottom, like so, and along the top, that should do the job. And then we just need to incorporate some sort of a design or something in the back here. So I think that that'll work okay overall. Yeah, I think that's fine. And how many blocks is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's a good number. I like seven. So we got a, basically a nine wide section here. Um, and then what we'll do actually is we might slide this over. I think we should slide this over by one block. Just like that. Yeah. And this will be our way up here. 
right? Because then it'll incorporate in this stuff, right? So these will be redwood stairs. And then we'll have another one. This will be the basalt paver right here to kind of encapsulate it. Then, of course, on the other side as well, we're going to have, you know, the dual basalt pavers on both sides. We're going to have grass down below, etc. I think that's going to work great. Uh, because I got Silk Touch, we do have grass starting to spread up here now. It's wonderful, and I love it. I'm going to build this staircase, or at least uh, mine out this staircase, and see exactly how it looks. All right, so I started making the staircase. It's a long staircase. Holy cow. Um, and then we broke into the land on the back side of the mountain, which is okay. It's just going to take some creative building. But maybe we can actually build something here too, right? Maybe we can just build something. Um, and then I kind of came up the side of the mountain, used the terrain to my advantage. And then we are cruising up this way to the top of the mountain and we're actually up here now we didn't end up over there which I think is okay I think if we come up here and we build something and then we work our way down into it that could look pretty sweet too um, so we need to play around with that quite a bit and a lot of building and whatnot and PS I dislike gravel I'm just saying it right now because it's very annoying when you're building a staircase <laughs> yeah anyways um so that'll get us some grass in that spot for the most part though it is pretty darn nice it's a long staircase though so i think the next step that we need to kind of figure out is some sort of pattern or something for this actual staircase to go right to go vertically and you know to climb now i'm not sure what that's going to be so i'm going to play around a little bit with a couple of ideas um one of them is getting a little bit of this black next to the redwood and then we bring in all of this back one to make it uh, a little bit more on the fancy scale, if you know what I mean. And we can incorporate some of that redwood in here as well, if we so decide to. So we can go like this, and then we can actually put lights the whole way up, or maybe even just design the whole way up. I don't know. It kind of is kind of funky, but it also seems a little clunky and overbearing. So I'm not too sure exactly what I'm going to do here yet. Uh, same thing with the roof. We're going to have an issue here where, you know, maybe we just go with something as simple as, I don't know, maybe even something as simple as that, right? Where you're coming down and that kind of blends in with the rest. I don't know. It might be a little bit too much of the same thing, if you know what I mean. Because we have the wood here, we have the wood here, we got the black, we got the black on the walls, and you're missing out on a lot of the grass and stuff while climbing this. It could look really nice, though, when all things are said and done. So I'm going to rip slime. Rip slime, brother. Rip slimy. Um, I don't know. It could look pretty sweet. It could look pretty sweet. And then, of course, once we get down into here, we can incorporate it in accordingly. Um, this actually all needs to go up by one. Oh, yeah, that broke. That broke. Yeah, uh, we're going fist. Fist model. There we go. All right, so something like that. So we can go four high on either side of these. Good and good and that should be quite a bit better i think kind of incorporate that got those two as well fist good all right so yeah something like that and then of course we would develop in the roof line here as well so we might have something like that with there probably won't be an intersection here, so maybe just even a standard redwood would work. And then more basalt, and then more redwood, etc. Kind of just go around, and then some sort of a light in the ceiling as well. Or at least that's the plan. So, obviously I'm out of basalt. I think I am completely out of it. 
Uh, let's see, do I see any? No, I don't think I have any basalt at this point in time. So I definitely need to go harvest more, find more, first of all, and harvest more. Um, I did set up a little hopper here just to place in ores that I dig up to get, uh, produced, basically. So, one of those fine little details. Anyways, um, the staircase is at least operational, right? It's up there. We all are all the way up to surface, which is great. I am definitely liking the light, the redwood better than the ebony in the constant, uh, in the constant effect. So I think we're going to stick with that for the most part for now. Let me know what you guys think on the rest. I also need to do something with this area down here. Maybe I'll work on that here and I'll bring you guys back in when that's done. All right, so I've started uh, getting this done, and we need to move our chests and whatnot. So to do that, I want to get that moving wand up and running that we were planning on originally. So we're going to need, what, six? Is it six of these? Yeah, it's one per. Okay. Whew, so many. So many. All right, and then one piece of redstone. Out of all that, just one piece of redstone, eh? All right, and we're going to need, what is it, eight golden nuggets? All right, let's make ourselves the moving wand. Two wand cores. Boom. Wand. Moving. Hype. Get excited. Are you excited yet? Uh, add power to the moving wand. Excellent. All right, so this will give us power. So you right-click to take a block. You right-click again to place the block. Seems pretty straightforward, and I'm pretty sure it works on chess. I hope it does. You, come with me, to there. Excellent. You, come with me, to there for right now. Oh yes, this is working beautifully. Exactly what I wanted to see. And it does take a little bit of power, but really not much at all. Wow, that is a lot less than I thought it would be. Perfect. So, we got that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Get out of there, Zinc. You're not supposed to be in there. You are supposed to be in there. Excellent. All right, good stuff. So, the moving wand is operational, and it's glorious. All right, you are going to get finished now, properly, this staircase. Now, this one's a little bit different than this one, but I want to try to emulate the same kind of feel for it if you know what i mean so we have one two three above well let's see it's right at that height okay so if we go there that's going to be up like that we're going to be boom and boom as a capper very nice very nice and this guy is going to be like so so that'll actually emulate the other side appropriately very good now, I'm not sure if we should actually loop this staircase around or not, but we'll, uh, we'll figure that out a little bit later on. Um, I've also finished up over here with the, um, with the roof or the ceiling. Because I did actually, I did like this no matter what. I really do like that ceiling. I'm still not sold on the walls, and we might have to do something different there. Also, I'm not sure what to put there. I think I'm going to use the plastic glow blocks. These guys here are pretty cool. And what I'm thinking is maybe some cyan plastic glow blocks or whatever they call them. Um, which is basically some cyan plastic blocks and glowstone dust. Pretty cheap actually, all things considered. Um, one glowstone for three. I'd say that's pretty economical, but then we do need to get ourselves the HDPE pellet, which is that PRC, the pressurized reaction chamber with um, liquid ethylene and oxygen. All right, so we need to get the ethylene into here with substrate, which is hydrogen and water makes ethylene good with biofuel all right well we have hydrogen we have water so we're good to go there we have some biofuel so we can actually make this substrate stuff and we get the byproduct of the ethylene that is pretty nice 
All right, so we need to get a pressurized reaction chamber times two for this to work, if I'm not mistaken, for us to get some plastic. So pressurized reaction chamber is not too, too difficult. Enrichment chamber, dynamic tank, okay, just some steel. All right, a couple gas tanks. Those are really easy with osmium and redstone. So we're going to need about eight steel, give or take. And we're going to need a few more circuits and stuff like that. So I'm going to get a lot of this stuff going. I think I have some circuits around here somewhere. Yeah, we do have some enriched alloy and one circuit. Okay. Well, we'll try to use those up as well. But before that, let's make a few more. So the circuits are really easy to make, obviously, because they're just osmium. So they're actually quite cheap as well compared to using up iron, in my opinion. Okay, there we go. Good to go. We'll get that going. And that should give us that. Then we need to get the steel going. All right. No big deal. Oh, we already have four. Well, you know what? We might as well make eight more because it's easier to do it that way anyways. Um, so let's get ourselves uh, 16 coal. No, wait, two coal. That's what we need. Two coal enriched. Very good. All right, so enrichment chamber get, and that should be enough to get our pressurized reaction chamber, at least the first one. Uh, we do need to make another one of those enrichment chambers, which kind of sucks but uh not too too bad we did get four of those dynamic tanks which is very very useful um for what we need definitely we're going to need nine more osmium here and another oh decent amount of you if i'm not mistaken as well um so we can get this guy up and running so let's get another one of these good let's get ourselves the rest of this oh we need two of the gas tanks there we go we should be good to make the rest uh, let's just double check here we are missing the enrichment chamber yes we are nope nope bad there we go enrichment chamber we are missing two pieces of iron one two all right we are good we are good we are good very very good there we go and boom there's our second pressurized reaction chamber very nice very excited about that. We'll put those away for right now. And let's see here. We have a whole bunch of power over here. And we have water and hydrogen over here. So what I'm thinking that we need to do is rearrange some of this stuff a little bit. And maybe push these generators back one. Uh, just so that we have a bit more room. And maybe even just redo them in general um if you know what i mean so what i'm thinking is let's take these guys out oh good they keep their biofuel that's good all right good uh let's take out these pipes which take forever to break and no a wrench i don't think makes it any faster okay we'll take this guy out and one more and then that will allow us a little bit more room here to diversify the portfolio okay so if we put down a pressurized reaction chamber right there that should get power from the cables okay and then we should have input from the back it's not connecting so it doesn't connect to the back okay that's fine we learned boom Boom. Okay, good. So there's our hydrogen. Our hydrogen's coming in. Uh, that'll leave us with the tank, um, which is good. And it should allow us to get some more built up here. Now, what we could do is we could move this up one. We could move this up one. Hmm. And why isn't the water connecting? Where does the water have to connect to? Does the water connect in the front or in the back? Maybe, maybe it connects in the back. Let's try the back first and see if it connects there. Um, where's my pipes? Basic mechanical pipe for fluids. There we go. 
So does the water go in the back? Yeah, that's where it connects. Okay. So let's see. So we need water in the back, hydrogen in the side. Okay. And then the output's going to be ethylene out the other side. So power in the bottom would actually be very good here. So let's see. Um, owner crook. Let's put this guy here instead. Yeah. Okay. I think this will work out well. So we have power coming in from the bottom. We have... Oh, we can't pipe out from the... We can't pipe out from the side of these tanks? Really? 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 You've got to be kidding me, mate. All right. Let me figure this out here. I want to do some configuring and rearranging, I think, for this. Yep. We're doing it. All right, so we got this guy up and running here, making ethylene, which is great, which is giving us the substrate. St substrate? Substrate? I think it's substrate, right? And substrate really can only be used to make this HDPE pellet, right? So that's basically all it does. So, you know, one of those things. Now, one of the problems here is this. Exactly this right here. So the oxygen, no big deal. The liquid ethylene. All right, liquid ethylene. This produces ethylene, right? But not liquid ethylene. So we need to convert this ethylene gas into ethylene liquid. All right, does that make sense? God, I hope so. All right, so to do that, we're going to need a rotary condenser. I know, right? Big old fancy word craziness all right so we're going to need an energy tablet we're going to need a basic tank good we're going to need a gas tank very good that's the gas to the liquid basically and there we go rotary condenser very nice so if i place this guy down right here oh boy oh boy let's see if we can actually pull this off Okay, so there's decondensing, and then there's condensing. Condensing trading? Is that right? It seems weird. Uh, but anyways, what we need to do is we need to actually output this guy to the side, auto eject. Oh, it's not pushing it out, hey? Eh? Well, that's a shame. All right. Um, hmm. We might have to reposition this then let's try this let's put this guy down here that way it's getting power we should have power there and then we're going to go with the pressurized cable nope not gonna work like that oh man i might have to move this all over by one which is just a pain in the butt yeah i'm gonna have to okay so this is going to have to take the place of this guy right here. So we're going to need the rotary condenser like so. And the pressurized like so. Good. The configure. We're going to pull out the ethylene into the condensator. And that should give us liquid ethylene. Good. Okay. So that's working. That's working appropriately. Um, we are going to need some more fluid pipes aren't we i don't think i have any those are pressurized tubes for gas not for liquids okay so we need a little bit of steel here and i think it's a bucket isn't it it's actually quite expensive to make the fluid ones okay the mechanical pipes those are the guys all right so that now i guess the big question is can we oh man yeah all of this is going to have to move. My teleporters are going to have to move, um, which is fine. I put those back there as well. It's just too condensed. Um, the only other option that we could do... No, because we have to pull out from this side of that. Um, we could go up. Let's just try this. Let's just see if this works. So if we go up here, right, and... This would be the liquid. That's still going to have to move. I know that. That would go there. All right. We would need basic power to it. So we can go up the back like this. That should give it power. 
excellent. And then we can place down this pressurized reaction chamber right there. We need to not connect it there. Good. All right. So now can we connect? Oh, see, there's, that's not going to work very well, is it? No, that's not going to work either. All right. I need to re conjigger pretty much all of these things. Um, so let me get those in position because yeah, it's not going to work in the slightest. All right, so a quick note, I haven't completely finished it up yet, but as you can see, I'm making something else and it's called the gauge dropper. And this is kind of useful only when you've made mistakes like I have. Um, so I accidentally connected water up to this uh, pressurized reaction chamber here and we need to get the water out. Okay, so um, we how are we going to do that? That is a great question. I do not know. Uh oh, I need to figure this out. Uh, so I'm not sure if how we get it out. How do we, there we go. Okay, and we have to get it out one thing at a time. Now this is going to take over 10 times to do. Now I'm not sure can we actually put this maybe in like a tank or something or maybe we should just uh, store it over here like so yeah and that'll drop it out okay so yeah so you need to basically click in here mouse over click again bring it back over shift right click boom all right so it's gonna take me a little bit to fix this error I guess it means I won't probably do it again <laughs> yeah don't do that you don't want to make this error it takes a while to fix and equally you could lose important things like oxygen or hydrogen or anything else right and it will work for those as well you can pull out the oxygen and all of that if necessary as well so yeah a little tedious but uh, one of those things when you're hooking up pipes always make sure that you do it the right way all right, and there we have it. In its own little makeshift way, we got our oxygen and our liquid ethylene. Now the next step is to basically get this substrate out, and I assume that I'll have to pull it out the top here. Now, Mechanism does add its own uh, item piping as well, uh, basic logistical transporter. They are very good, but I do want to try a new mod uh, for this, and it's just called pipe yeah it's a pipe um, now it does take obsidian and a piece of glass so I mean if you don't have obsidian yet mind you obsidian shouldn't be that difficult to get at this stage of the game uh, for most of you um, let's give this thing a try let's see if this works and does what we need it to do without breaking everything okay all right uh-huh Okay, obviously not pulling out of there. Did it pull out of there? Oh man, I don't know how to pull this thing out. Um, with the pipes. Hmm, good question. Oh boy. Alright, I gotta figure this out. Alright, so I found out that you need a block called a shifter to get it done properly with those other pipes. The shifter basically pulls the items out. Now... I don't really have, I mean, I have the space, but I don't really want another block in this. It already looks like acrylic wire anyways. So I think we're just going to do the mechanism logistics pipes here. They will work just fine, or they should work just fine. Okay, that's good. And let's see, we're going to pull out the front. Is this going to work? This better work. I'll put out the front. Okay, perfect. So we're getting the substrate out the front, and that is going into the PRC. Excellent. Now, why is this not working? Why is this not working? Liquid ethylene and oxygen becomes HDP pellet. Okay. We don't have power connected to it. We don't even have a spot for that power can connect to it. Acrylic, please. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Um Hmm. I tell you. I tell you. This is like dire wire to the extreme right now. 
Um, can we pipe in the side there or something? I don't know. I'm grasping at straws here. No, we cannot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Um, can we adjust this to be an input and then it works? Can we adjust this to be uh, none and it works? Now that's yellow. The liquid is yellow. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a situation. Um, okay, I'll have to figure that one out as well. But that should give us the HDPE pellets. Very good. We'll take some of those out. And what we want to do with those is we want to make them into the HDPE sheets. Now, the sheets can then become plastic blocks. All right. There's also other things that you can do, like glow panels and and a few other things. Um, those are all pretty cool. And also the HDPE rod, which can get you a plastic stick, basically, which can make plastic fences with plastic blocks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you do need a decent amount of this stuff to obviously get this thing operational. Um, yeah, the liquid thing is a bit of a situation. It's just too cramped, and there's too many sides that are necessary. It's one of those things that, uh, yeah. It's probably one of the only setbacks to the mechanism pipings. Now, a lot of you are probably going to say, well, use Ender I.O. Well, right now in the pack, I don't recommend using Ender I.O. because they are bugged at the moment. Um, and what I mean by that is there is a known bug with Ender I.O. that causes quite a bit of lag. So if you can avoid them, I recommend avoiding them at this point in time in this version of the pack. Um, I believe that's even the case in the all the mods pack, just to let you know. So if you are running into issues, could be that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to figure this out on my own here, I think. And I'm going to double check the time. I think we're pretty much at wrapping up point. Uh, so I'll be back once I solidify this solution, because this is not going well at the moment. All right, it's ugly as sin, but it works. It's ugly, but it works. Oh, man. I have a feeling I'm going to be saying that a lot with mechanism stuff. This is just telling me right now that we need to redo all of this. Literally all of it. We need to get it out of this cave. We need to get it into a designated room. And we need to fix it. We need to clean it up. But we are getting the HDPE pellets, which is great. And that's going to allow us to actually finish some of our stuff here. Um, that gives us six, so we still need two more. Oh, man, it takes a stack of these? So it takes a stack of biofuel to make one plastic block. Or, sorry, how many do we get? Four. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Well... That's not the worst thing. It's not the worst thing. Now, I don't have any cyan dye either um, at this point in time. So I think we're just going to stick with the regular. Um, cyan lamps from Actually Editions, just so expensive. So expensive. Um, I think, yeah. Yeah, I don't have any of those. Yeah, I don't have any of those for the cyan. Um, and I don't really, I haven't gotten into Batania at all or anything like that. So, Cyan Glass Shard. What are you, what are you, what are you? What are you? Cyan Iridescent Pledge? No. 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 All very expensive stuff. Anyways, I don't have Cyan, so we're kind of just going to play it by ear on what we get here. Um, oh, we're out of ethylene. Oh, and it actually takes more ethylene than it does to produce. Holy cow. That isn't good either. All right. Well, it's one of those things. Um, it's not the best system. But it's a system that's going to have to work for us because, uh, yeah. We're pretty much at our brink here. So I'm going to add in more biofuel. I'm going to get even more started up here we have quite a few seeds so we should be able to get a decent amount of it i have to replace down my teleporter and all of that because well we do 
simple as that. Uh, but I feel like we made pretty good progress overall on the episode today. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. Subscribe. All that fun stuff. Tell your friends, eh? I, this isn't a mainstream big pack or anything like that. So make sure you tell your friends about what's going on here and what we're doing. And all that kind of stuff. Why are we not getting... Why are we... Oh. Oh. Never mind. We're fine. Never mind. We are fine. Liquid ethylene for the win. Ethylene itself is actually really strong, too. We can use it for power. So, once we get that room set up, I think it'll be a good idea to really go crazy and advance towards a better system overall. So, let's first of all get our plastic... This is the whole thing. We wanted just one of these. Just one of them. And that gives us the black one, hey? Okay, so if that gives us the black one, can we get a white one just with bone meal? I assume that that would be a yes. Uh, all my stuff is full. We'll just try it like this. No. No, we cannot. Okay. So we can get... I don't think that's right. A white plastic block by black on black. Black with white. So do we need ink then? <laughs> I'm so confused. So if we do this, that's going to give us black. Okay. So we need ink. Well, you know what? Black is the color I was going for anyways. You know, I'm so glad when things just work out exactly the way you picture them. It works so well. Um, and there we go. Our black glow blocks have been made. And these guys are basically going to go in the walls like so. And what they should do... Why isn't that lighting things up? Light things up. Why aren't you lighting things? You're supposed to be lighting things. Oh, man. Do not tell me. Do not tell me that these are bugged or something oh man did we just go through all this effort for something that's not even going to work for us it's possible it is possible well you know what it is what it is i think that is lighting up i just don't think that they give off as much light as a regular torch i'll have to double check that um, but these blocks are pretty cool they are pretty darn dark and strong uh blocks so i'm certainly glad i decided to ditch uh making them out of this or making all of these out of that anyways that's it make sure you leave a like subscribe all that fun stuff especially for the acrylic wire come on now come on now Give it up for the acrylic wire. Have a good one.